What is up, guys? Uh, this is uh, Carlos Ochoa, and uh, this is probably gonna be my first vlog. I've tried it before. Let's see if this one su succeeds. Just don't really find time for it. Uh, so right now we are in the uh, nice barracks room, as you guys can see. A little setup, a little fish tank. Patriotic, so we gotta have the American flag, Stetson Cavalry Unit. Blah blah, blah you know where I'm from, you know. But uh, we're definitely stationed in Colorado. Uh, the reason I haven't shaved for you guys that are asking me like, why haven't I shaved or whatever? Sorry, I don't keep looking at the lens. I look at the actual. Anyways, uh, is because I've been on quarantine and today's gonna be my first free day. And right now it is currently. Let's see this. I'm looking at some like documentaries of boondocking. 4:40. So I woke up like I want to say around two. Uh, definitely two. But uh, what is it called? That's because uh. I messed up my sleeping schedule while I was on, uh, I think it was like 11 or 10 days of quarantine, and I'm trying to fix it now, and I try going back to sleep because I woke up like around 5 o'clock yesterday, and then I, I went back to sleep, but I slept like around 10 o'clock, and then I woke up again at 2, so right now I'm not tired, I mean I could probably lay down, but I'm not tired, and I think I'm going to see if I can try to make it the whole day without going to sleep so I can get my sleep schedule on track again. If I sleep early, like around like 7 or 6 maybe, or maybe even 8, like that would be awesome because then it would fix me. So today is a Saturday and I have to come back in on a Sunday. But uh, anyways, we're going to go see, um, what is it called, if I can go get some uh, topper um, clamps. I'm sorry, some topper um, struts and uh, locks. Because uh, the topper that I just bought uh, was 250 bucks and it was in really bad shape. But it wasn't that bad, uh, per se. It just needs struts and uh, locking mechanism because I don't want no one going in there and breaking into my shit. And, uh... Sorry if it's a bit messy, guys. Still gotta, like, organize a little bit. Little fishes. Little guppies. Set up. Just had babies. But, uh, just like that. We are changed. And uh, ready to go for the day. So, yeah. Got the fit on. Let's go see uh, what we can uh, go find. Probably go get some breakfast. We are in the parking lot. It is a little bit windy. This is uh, my truck. Just got the topper. I got it flush because I wanted to go with like a nice little stealth setup. Uh, a bit cold out here right now in Colorado. It's a 2006 Duramax Silverado. Or Silverado with the a Stairmax package, 2500, uh, with the six-speed Allison transmission, 6.6 .6 liter LBZ. Uh, this is my dream truck for a while, but uh, let's see. It's probably a bit messy. This is my first time getting in it in about two weeks. So um, it is a bit chilly out. Come out. Uh, check engine is for this the map sensor which I replaced probably got to clean it or something I don't know um, I'll figure that out now but uh pretty much uh here's the truck it's a bit messy I gotta organize a couple things it's kind of dark out still just waiting for it to uh, get hot in the 4x4 package but uh, yeah I gotta figure out that right there um, because I was the uh, sensor that goes from your air intake and I replaced it with my dad when I was back on leave. And it's still there. I'm not sure. We're gonna go fill up, go get some uh, breakfast, and see how it goes. Hi, can I get a, uh, oh man, you guys are out of the number seven. Uh, can I get a homestyle breakfast, please? Hello. And can I also get a uh, a uh, medium orange juice, please? Anything else? That'll be it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, got our food now. Uh, I gotta say, it kind of feels um, amazing uh, being off quarantine now. Uh, you kind of lose your mind. Like, I actually wanted to go back to work, and they put me on for an extra day for some reason. But, um, yeah, I'm going to start off by saying grace.
So, uh, in Colorado, um, it's kind of windy right now. It's still early in the morning. That's why it's like, you know, uh, dark outside. But, um, pretty much what I wanted to do today was we'll get a, um, carbon monoxide detector. Because, although I do trust my Mr. Buddy, I don't want to, um, burn something out. Or, I'm sorry, uh, get a big overflow of carbon monoxide while I'm like, you know, in there without realizing it, even though I won't be running it while I'm sleeping. Just, you know, extra precautions, you know. Um, try to go get those locks from that uh, camper place I keep hearing about, or that topper place. And um, I'm going to go do some other things today, like get the struts. If I find them more expensive, I probably won't pick them up because I did find some for a pretty good deal on Amazon, but if they're a bit over, I don't really mind because they would be already installed. A couple more things I can remove from my wish li my wish list. Um, as far as that goes, oh man, she didn't give me no ketchup. Oh well. As far as that goes, um, we're gonna do that. I was planning on going fishing, but the forecast is gonna be windy. I might just go tomorrow. I was gonna do a nice little catch and cook, but um. Yeah, let's see how it goes. It is uh, pretty cold. Um, to fill this thing up is normally forty dollars, but since I have like a tank and some change, I think it's gonna be like around twenty-five. My guesses, we'll see. <coughs> and let's see what it is. Twenty-five seventy-four. Dang, seventy-four cents off. I, dang, I know my truck. Forgot the gas cap in here. <coughs> Not bad. Ugh. Might as well just top it off. Awesome. <sighs> Debating on a, uh, smoke detector or fire alarm I'm sorry it's gonna get uh, one of these little micro ones since this kind of like micro camping all right guys so we uh we arrived at the uh, Timberland over here uh, I saw they had like a lot of toppers and Jeez. got the black rifle coffee Good enough. Currently at a BP with the buddy. What is up, guys? Uh, it's been uh, one day, I think, two days, I believe. So I don't think you recorded Sunday. Sorry, it's taking so long. Uh, well, you guys won't notice the difference. It's gonna come out of a day, but sorry, it's a big time span, you know. Uh, finally, I'm gonna get to showing you guys the rest of the truck camper. Uh, the audio cut off because uh, I ran out of space on my SD card 
uh, and I guess I had to convert it to my internal storage on my phone. Uh, I don't have a, a GoPro or anything of that fancy stuff yet. Um, but pretty much, uh, let me finish uh, giving you guys the rundown. Uh, went to work for one day, and uh, yeah, I kind of got busy and distracted. But uh, pretty much, there's a cigarette lighter, and I took it into the seat. And sorry, it's kind of messy back here, guys. Got to clean up still. Uh, it goes to this four, 140 watt power inverter from Walmart, and there's an extension cord that runs down through the back. I'll show you guys right now. And to turn it on, all you got to do is hit this button, and it turns on the inverter, and it literally goes through here. But I mean, I might as well keep it on when I pretty much don't want it on or whatnot. I just unplug it and then use this for my regular every time use. Um, but yeah, let's uh, check out the back. Kind of ghetto. Uh, shoot, I keep having the mask on, force of habit. Uh, kind of ghetto, I know, uh, but it pretty much runs the extension cord through here and it pretty much clips or crimps into this wire have like one little velcro piece there i'm gonna add like some tape around it or whatever for chafing probably some tubing honestly like a uh, hose tubing that i was gonna show you guys right now and then uh close the door real hard i mean it doesn't really pinch as much because this it's still like you know there but i'm over time with vibration i'm sure it's gonna cause issues but either way the extension cord is only ten dollars and i already cut into it so pretty much there's the bed and we go into the back here and uh here's a much um up close view of the setup what i was saying was uh there's a filter that is uh attached there there's my line that's attached to like another line because that line right there is pretty hard and uh didn't want to go over there so i just cut a piece of other tubing i mean not line i'm sorry and uh mounted it to the filter inside uh the other side of the nipple there's the, the other piece of tubing that goes down into there uh, that's just a drill that my buddy let me borrow. That's a small little trash can just keep things organized in here. Uh, right now it's not looking the best. Sorry guys. There's my Mr. Buddy propane heater. In the back there, there's like a bin and that just has a whole bunch of, uh, propane tanks. The, uh, carbon monoxide detector. Little first aid kit for like small cuts, you know, abrasions, whatever. Um, little light right there. It's a little Harbor Freight one dimmer light for uh, sleeping pretty much uh cut these out use insulated for uh, insulation and or privacy pretty much just tape them with some uh reflective tape as you guys can see here this one belongs to this one right here so i'm pretty much just chills and hangs out there fishing rods brought it down over here and there's this piece right here that not only keeps the fishing rods you know from uh moving and uh, from the reels kind of coming in this way and me kicking them at night or something but also this also serves as a uh, safety feature that uh when i'm in here because you can't obviously lock it uh we'll hold on to these pieces here i'm using this plywood right now because when i went to the topper place they had the keys thank god so i didn't have to replace the uh, locks but they did not have the uh struts in so she told me she was going to give me a call when uh, some new ones got an order but yeah i pretty much just cut a little divot there and that rests in there like so uh pretty much it's a bit messy i'm still trying to uh get uh this all set up organized but uh pretty much propane heater this uh i mount i put velcro on the back so i can mount it anywhere it's also magnetic I'll just leave it here um little tray for cooking uh so you're when I ran the whole uh, extension cord to the bottom, there's a little hole from the fifth wheel. It goes here, and the extension cord comes out. And the hole's very small, so I had some buddies that, uh, I'm in the army, and uh, they uh, work on the electrical uh, components of the aircraft, so they spliced the, uh, the wire for me, or the uh, extension cord. Uh, so it runs under the bed and up through the fifth wheel hole right here. And uh, they spliced it, you know, pretty professionally because we don't want nothing shorting out. Uh, and it pretty much goes and runs through the back over there. Uh, through there. There it is. Runs out through here. Connects all the way 
keep going down to here with some little outlets that I have here um, and then I have a fire extinguisher just in case I'm, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys the carbon monoxide from when I'm running the mr. buddy heater um, this is a thermometer to show me what's inside and this is gonna be what's out uh, what's outside it's pretty accurate for the most part but uh, this is for example in that's supposedly out but uh, sometimes it's like one or two off this pretty much I put a, a piece of velcro outside under the uh, lip of the truck and I just attach this to the velcro so I could see ahead of time whether I need a sweater or not or just to see what it's cold if it's cold outside this is just full of stuff that I put in here for now because it keeps it from sliding around while I'm driving but I need to organize it uh, pretty much this is my sink right here so it's rechargeable through a little USB there and uh, that line with the filter that I was saying uh, runs all the way across into a small little hole up there into this this isn't mounted but uh, it's pretty stable it hasn't gone anywhere while I'm driving so and uh, it pretty much uh, uses suction to uh, give water into this tub when there's not stuff in there and then uh, I glued this little funnel to the bottom of the tub and uh, pretty much uh, that funnel with a nice little hose hose runs down into the other uh, small hole that was uh, there for the fifth wheel and just straight down from the bed or if I wanted to I can add a tank here this is just uh, toiletries, toilet paper, uh, things like that. And then this for emergencies, if it's really cold or there's nowhere to do your business because there's people around, this is a small little toilet right there. And uh, you, it flushes, you pump this and it flushes down. And then this other half right here, that it clamps onto, is uh, where you store your waste. That's just like a nice little precaution. A little piece of Velcro for this thermometer that uh, has a piece of velcro attached there pretty much black rifle coffee because there's a hype for it for some reason so i wanted to try it uh smoke detector uh small little cooler that also for now because i was trying to get a uh electric cooler so i can freeze things and keep them frozen but i mean i'm i'm not really going to try to use um what is it called ice i think i'm just going to use ice packs because i have many of them just just a little bit in there for now um pretty much uh like I mentioned before, this platform slides out and then slides in here, through there, this railing system here, right there, and then another little piece that goes around here. It's kind of getting bent, but I mean it has a couple uh, screws that I screwed in through there, and uh, there, and I mean it's pretty, it's pretty uh, stable anyways. Uh, so yeah, this slides out, little carpet area goes here so you can put like a second bed that's why I have two mats and this down here opens some storage bins for cooking and things like that two lawn chairs and then a piece of mattress foam uh, enough for a queen size that you could put over here along with these two things uh, just to make it comfortable and then uh, two pillows I only use one but I keep the extra for like uh, I guess like a you know I could put it to the side or something but just in case I have another person or if I want to prop myself up I'll grab it and uh, put it some something like this up on top so I can rest my head there and just use it like as a nice little rest in the back. This is a small little sweater. This is for the uh, back. And uh, yeah, the cooler is like a small little like hole because uh, it just didn't reach all the way. And uh, I was glad for that because... Um, it will go and uh, pretty much be able to put a line through there, through the hole, and then the cooler will probably sit inside here if I do get an electric one. But yeah, all this is Velcroed on. Um, like I said, it wasn't supposed to be permanent. And if it wanted to be permanent, it can be comfortably. But yeah, this is pretty much just it. Oh, fishing rods and little fishing equipment. I always keep a bag for like when I catch something and then this metal piece is like some little cl clampers to pull out hooks and whatnot. Um, little tackle box because that's pretty much all you need for trout and i always catch a small little thing of bait i could add my whole uh what is it called rod or i'm sorry a tackle box but just too much space and i don't really use all of it i just have it just to, for looks i guess but yeah it's pretty much where that goes to to that end and that's just to close it and then uh in here 
see if I could find the other pieces though. Mm, there it is. So yeah, this right here is probably gonna get velcroed or uh, um, or have like these little 3M strips on the end or by the camper. Cause pretty much you turn this little alarm on and when it pulls apart or whatever, there's not enough room for contact, it will ring. And I'll be just turning that on. Uh, it'll chime pretty much. Uh, man, if you want to focus. I guess not. Well, pretty much it says alarm chime off. And uh, pretty much I'll be using that while I'm asleep. So it could wake, wake me up. And uh, I'll know that someone is trying to intrude on me while I'm trying to sleep. And then have enough time to pull out my Glock or my handgun or uh, a knife or something, you know. Uh, or a rifle, depending on what I... I'm doing whether I'm hunting or you know just have a handgun on me which I probably will do if I ever decide to boondock uh, this pretty much right here is just a battery charger to recharge batteries because these do take batteries uh, this is for uh, moisture uh, it just reduces moisture like little I don't know how to explain it but I got that so it's not too there's not too much moisture and the fire extinguisher just for uh, safety um, and yeah pretty much I don't know if I'm done with it. I could see that I'm almost done with it. I don't think I am. I think I'm probably going to... Well, I'm pretty much done with it, yeah. Um, I think, yeah, that's it. And, uh, yeah, so that gets routed through there. And then I just turn this on. And uh, it uh, allows me to uh, have power in here. For some reason, it's not turning on. I don't know if I left it on or because the truck shut off or whatnot. Or it probably came unplugged. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, pretty much this is it. Yeah, so uh, the uh, inverter wasn't on. I got to clean out this truck. You got to turn it on here. And now it's on, but it was off. So, yeah. You at this whole vlogging thing, so uh, take it easy on me. I know it's kind of like weird how I set it up. There's also some technical errors and whatnot. But uh, what is it called? Pretty much I was supposed to do a fishing video, but it was windy on that weekend. And. It was cold and I was like, oh man, like a little catch and cook in the back with the propane stove. But uh, yeah, there'll be other videos there. It's just been hard with the whole COVID-19 situation uh, to go out and do something because it's like we're really busy right now in my line of work and a uh, whole bunch of people have been getting put on quarantine and uh, yeah, it's not fun. So we'll see if it gives us time sometime in November. If not, if I can go on leave maybe in December while I'm, if I do decide to drive back to California to go see family. For the holidays but uh pretty much they said that pretty much don't expect us for us to go because of the covid restrictions and always expect heartbreak that's just what we get in uh you know the uh, military because they're just trying to keep everyone safe and i understand why there's precautions you know we can't be losing people pretty much uh stay safe and stay at home you know like i've been wanting to get out but it's, sadly it's it's it doesn't always happen you know but uh yeah that's uh pretty much my video i hope you guys enjoyed uh Pretty much with the 140 inverter, I know I'm going to get comments like it's just to charge my phone or to charge things. Everything in there doesn't run off a of battery. I mean, it runs off. I mean, it runs off a of battery. I'm sorry. It's rechargeable. So I just wanted to recharge appliances. Like I wanted to get like a small TV that recharges itself. Uh, the the uh, cooler charges itself. It has a, the one that I was thinking of getting. It's just pretty much for recharging. It's not a constant, you know, and uh, also like they have also safety features on the devices that I'm getting. That when they sense that there's not enough battery, they will just turn off. Uh, also, like, the Silverado shuts off, too, when it feels like there's not enough battery or it's been a while. Uh, and I have a diesel, so it has two batteries. I also have, like, a battery pack under one of my seats, so I can always jump myself. I don't really like doing that because it's, I heard it's bad for diesels. Maybe it's not, but either way, I just don't like doing that. Uh, pretty much, it's not to be ran all night or whatever. It's just to recharge things, like I said. And uh, keep in mind, like... The extension cord can come out and uh, like if I'm like at an RV place or whatever, I can just plug it into a wall or something and then I would run it fully. But even then, my appliances are all rechargeable USB so I can recharge them inside the vehicle if I wanted to. That's just for when I'm tired or I just want to lay in the back. It's just for recharging that. But uh, yeah, I appreciate it a lot. Um, hopefully, you guys like the video. Like, subscribe, comment, you know. Um, and I appreciate uh, the the um support that i got from uh this uh instagram page that gave me a lot of followers uh on my build if you guys want to know more just you know hit me up on the comments and um 
I'll let you guys know.